Hello, I'm Gary Howell. I'm the founder of Morgan Walsh Consultancy. We provide IoT services to local government and also commercial companies. We're going to look at the NetFox water leak sensor, the R711W. Specifically how to add it to the Things Network version 3 and also to run a test to prove that it's working. The sensor is quite small. It has a light on the left hand side and two sockets on the right for the sensors. Comes with two batteries and also two sensors. The cable length is around one meter and it has two sensing pins along the bottom which are covered when there is a water leak. And here's a second sensor. And they both plug into these sockets on the side. First we must add the sensor to our Things Network application. So here we are on our console screen and we've created our application called Water Leak Detection. Here we select End Devices, Add End Device and manually select Over the Air Activation and LoRaWAN version 102 and click Start. Here, type in your end device ID, your app EUI, your dev EUI, and your end device name. And click Network Layer Settings. Here for us, we're going to select Europe and the regional parameter of a revision B. On our Join Settings screen, we copy and paste in our App key. And finally, Add End Device. And on the Live Data screen, we can see that the device has been created. We now need to prepare the device by adding the batteries. So turn the device over using a small screwdriver push in the tab and lift at the same time. It is slightly stiff. Remove the lid. The batteries are retained by these two retaining lugs here and the left hand one goes in this way and the right hand one this way. Replace the lid and snap into place. While we're here we'll add our sensors. So selecting sensor 1 and adding that into uh, connection J1. And sensor 2. And putting that into J2. To activate the sensor, we press both buttons together, and the light will come on on the sensor, and release. And on the console, we can see the join request has now been accepted. It sends a message which indicates its hardware version and software version number, and then a initial state of the sensors, which are both 00. zero. Uh, the left hand item is sensor 1, and the right hand is number 2. We can also force a sending of the sensor by pressing the right hand button. For a live test, we'll take a small bath of water. and put in sensor 1 so that the pins go into the water. And you'll see that the console will now show 01, which indicates a leak on sensor 1. And adding sensor 2, same effect, we get 01. So now we have two zero ones, which indicates a leak on both sensors. And when the sensors are removed, uh, we go back to 00, which indicates no leaks. We hope this has been of some interest to you. If we can help at all, please do get in touch. Thank you for watching.